Hello, it's Sarah, and I wanted to come on and tell you guys about my class. I went to the Queen's Inc. <clears throat> it's in Maryland. What the heck town is it? Well, Fran, it's near, closer to Baltimore. Fran lives in Bel Air, and so I stayed with my cousin Fran, and I drove over to the Queen's Inc., and I took a class with Diane Reevely, and she's the woman who does dilutions for Ranger. This is some of her artwork. This is the only thing I bought, you guys. I didn't buy anything. Uh, I am really sticking to the use what you have for myself anyway. Um, it was tempting. This store, because the Queen's Inc., it's not like a Michael's or a, you know, a Hobby Lobby. It has all the name brand, um, mixed media supplies, Kirby that are out there. Anyway, I did good. So here's what we got for the class. This class was from 10 to 5.30 on Sunday. And it was, it was packed, by the way. It was, it was probably just under 50 people, I would say, because there was five tables. And um, Diane runs a ship shape class. She is there to teach. There is no messing around. She keeps it moving. And so it was good. It was a good experience. Now, that being said, I wish we would have spent more time on this part of the class. In the beginning, obviously, we had these, it was called the alphabet quote cards, right? So we had to make our cards. There's 26 of them for the alphabet. And we did inking and ghosting. These are all techniques Diane uses. Um, we did inking with her spray inks and we used her paints which was awesome for me because I've never used them I don't have them to get our cards all painted up and our backgrounds done so we did some stenciling but then at the towards the end which I wish that's what I wish we had more time to do we cut up um, a magazine with any type, see this is some of her, in the kit came some of her die cuts and then she passed around some of her stamps for us to stamp out. She put some of her papers in here too. So we have these images as well, but we cut up magazine images to use as collage. So, and then here are some quotes, which we didn't even get to that part. So I really, that's the one thing I would say if I'm critiquing the class, which I, I wasn't planning on critiquing it, but I do wish that she would have taken the time at the end to actually finish a card. So cut a few things out of your magazines and at least get one card collaged on there. So this was a bunch of different stuff from my magazine. Stick it down and she uses a glue stick to glue because her inks reactivate with with moisture. So if you use um, matte medium or anything, you would reactivate the inks. I think this is ink, actually. This is paint. Anywho, we used these. They gave us these little mini collage sticks from Ranger. Glue sticks, I should say. And we glued it on. But then she does stenciling around the edges or... I did get to just ink, or not ink, this is paint around the edges, and so this one's probably closer to done, because I did a little stenciling and some doodling around the edges, and then painted the edge a little bit more doodling, but I would have liked to see what her process is for that, because she didn't go into it. So that was the, the disappointing thing because, you know, now I have all these cards and I'm not positive what to do with them. And because it's so natural for her, this is not natural for me. I don't do this type of work. Um, so it would have been nice to have that guidance, to know her thought process um, doing that. So I did learn about a lot about these uh, inks and paints, which was fine. And it was fun, so regardless, and actually the best part of the day was after the, the class, I went and had dinner with Patty Tolly Parrish, and you guys may know her as Inky Obsessions on YouTube. She lives about 20 minutes from the Queen's Inc., so she was very sweet to come over and meet me, and we chatted, and it was so nice, and hi, Patty. <laughs> um, she was, she was, I refilmed this, Patty, because, uh, I just 
I'm trying to keep them short, my videos. It's it's hard. I am very long-winded, as you know. <laughs> um, but it was awesome. And I, I would love to hook back up with Patty again. And uh, who knows? Maybe we'll have a, a, a play date. Anywho, these are, this is the only thing I got. And I just wanted to share these with you guys. These are her, they're called Adhesive Canvas. And she covers her art journals with this so like you know this is her art journal and it's just the uh, craft so she actually had a couple of these that were covered with these canvas stickers and i probably won't do that i really just got them for um inspiration because they were very similar to the size of these so that i could see kind of where she goes with her design you know uh, but there's lots of doodling, and it's very playful. So that was it. That was what I did on Sunday. And then came home, cleaned the house. <laughs> Tuesday was Valentine's Day. I got this bracelet, which I love. And uh, now I'm home. I'm back. I did my page in here. This is my Wanderlust uh art journal and this was the page from this week and so I finished that I told you guys I'm really trying to keep up with Wonderlust. I'm just gonna do it even though this was not my favorite page it was all over the place Amanda Grace she's from Ireland um, she made a love note to her husband she used a photo of her husband we did image transfer, which this is on packing tape, and I just used images that I had because I didn't have any that were on paper, and I'm out of ink. So these were on paper so that you could rub the paper off. It's a cool, that's a cool thing, but she was, she ended up painting and doing it and covering it all up. She covered it all up with a piece of paper at the end, so it was very weird. I did it though, so and I like mine. I mean, it is what it is. And uh, so I'm going to today try and do my February art journal page for you guys. The one that I want to do all the months of the year this year. So hopefully I'll be back and we'll do that. And as always, thanks for watching.